AFM Combat Medics Complete Training in Italy. Ten members of the Armed Forces of Malta and a Malta Red Cross Gozo branch member were, on Thursday 20th March 2008, awarded their Combat Medic Certificate by the Italian Ambassador Paolo Andrea Trabalza at the AFM Officers Mess in Lua Barracks. Combat medics are trained soldiers who provide first aid and frontline trauma care on the battlefield whilst adhering to international Red Cross and relevant Geneva Conventions during times of peace or war. Under the auspices of the Leonardo da Vinci Exchange Project, qualified AFM combat medic personnel alongside Gozo branch staff members of the Malta Red Cross have just recently completed their last phase of training overseas with the Italian Red Cross. In his opening address, AFM commander Brigadier Carmel Vastallo commented on the long ongoing relationship between the AFM and the Malta Red Cross and made much stress on the achievements made over the last 22 months with the Red Cross Gozo branch in particular. Brigadier Vassallo expressed the AFM's gratitude also to the Italian Red Cross's Special Rescue Group, who have over these last two years been engaged in setting up combat lifesavers and combat medics for the AFM, in close collaboration with the Malta Red Cross. He went on to thank the Italian Embassy and the Italian Military Mission in Malta as well for their unwaning support throughout the whole three phases of training the AFM personnel have undertaken locally and overseas. Apart from the several local hours of varied training in pre-hospital care and ambulance service with the Department of Health, on-job training in Italy was deemed beneficially essential for its key training exposure to seasoned veteran Italian combat medics, new skills and more in-depth equipment use. Besides those other inherent roles such as search and rescue, which the AFM fulfills on national territory, the Italian ambassador, Dr. Trabalza, said the AFM can now fulfill its roles in EU scenarios when deploying overseas its military personnel on peace support operations, given the incessant number of international hotspots where the EU, together with the UN, have found themselves in various peace operations. The Maltese contingent was led by AFM Surgeon Major Giacinto Bartolo and was made up of eight soldiers and two Gozo Red Cross branch staff. The Vice President of the Malta Red Cross, Dr. Manuel Malia, praised the AFM's offshore learning in various fields which serve to increase its self-professionalism and encourage dissemination to other fellow Maltese. He added that as a citizen he felt particularly proud that the Maltese military was making the nation proud, even in the Red Cross's own international family, in helping mankind in general and not just its armed forces only. While thanking Mr. Etienne Mikhalev of the Malta Red Cross's Gozo branch in being instrumental in the fulfillment of this combat medic training, Dr. Malia also highlighted on the valid tuition the AFM have received in the field of international humanitarian law. The AFM personnel's intensive two-week stay in Italy was evenly spread between the Milan-based Centro Emergenza Lombardia in Legnano, the Carabinieri and Civil Protection Base at Bordonecchia in Torino, the Caserma Pierantoni and the Castelnovo di Porto base in Rome, the Old Harbour city of Trani and also in Bari. Throughout their stay, the contingent were hosted by the Italian Red Cross. Italian Red Cross commander Rossano Rosso who flew in especially from Rome for this occasion, underlined the special relationship between the Malta Red Cross and his organization, stressing that there hadn't been much to teach the Maltese personnel as they were fully competent in their various respective fields. It had been thus far much more of a sharing of experiences exchange given their multitaskings on the Italian territory and the various other missions abroad. The final third phase of overseas training for the AFM personnel included hazardous materials, hazmat, and MBC decontamination, explosives and mine risk education, mechanical battle area clearance operations, ambulance transportation, and servicing with test drives of various assets, humanitarian law, emergency field hospital tent pitching and dismantling, extrication from war vehicles, and helicopter evacuations. The Maltese personnel's participation was assessed throughout this training with some other 40 Italian army soldiers from different branches of the service. Like in the preceding two training phases in Malta, Dr. Marco Filippi was the principal instructor on this course, as well as other Italian Red Cross and Army directing staff. AFM Warrant Officer 2 Martin Borch was also specifically asked to deliver lectures on the treatment for choking in adults, young children and babies to the course participants.